Yo, what's up? It's your man Horatio right here for Hip Hop DX. Eminem has shed more light on the dark days of his drug addiction past, revealing that his habit was so bad that 50 Cent once had to cover it for him during a television interview. Saying, I remember things started getting so bad, really bad, when me, 50, and G Unit did BET's 106 in Park. We performed You Don't Know, and on the show, we did an interview afterwards, and that's when the wheels started coming off. One of the hosts was talking to me, and I couldn't understand a word she was saying. 50 had to cover for me and answer every question. No extent on the countdown, pretty Ricky on the high line. I think we need to buy a new stage. They just put a hole in it. Yeah. Gotta do the roll call, of course. 50's in the house, Eminem's in the house. The new gunner catch is here. Lloyd Banks and Tony, yeah, yo, what's good, fellas? Oh, man, everything is good. Welcome back, man. Now, M, the last time we saw you, you shut things down at the BET Awards, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's been, uh, we haven't had you for a face-to-face -face interview. Why is it so rare that the public gets to see Eminem nowadays? What's going yeah, on? Why is it like that? I actually need him to make my music so he'd be busy. Yeah, I'm mean, actually, like, working constantly in the studio, but... You know, for for me to be able to create the songs and 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 do what I've been doing, like to the rare performances that I do get to do, you know, it's like I enjoy them so much because that's at the end of the day, that's one of the reasons that you create music for, you know, it's to perform in front of crowds. But you know in the same token i've got a lot a lot of a lot of artists on my label that i've got to make music for and produce for yeah. and also rap you know at the same time so and they definitely ready for my new album right in addition to the potent cocktail of vicodin volume and alcohol eminem also began taking the sleep medication and being around this time further decreasing his ability to function saying i would take a little to perform which you would think doesn't make much sense but Ambient is a mind eraser, so if you don't go to sleep on it, you get in this weird state. Elsewhere in the Double XL story, Eminem explained how his drug addiction, which began during the making of his 1999 debut album, The Slim Shady LP, followed the death of his close friend and collaborator, Proof, in 2005. Saying, I remember just after Proof died, I was in the house by myself and I was just laying in bed and I couldn't move. And I just kept staring at the ceiling fan and I was just taking more pills. Eminem's drug habit reached a breaking point in December 2007 when he was hospitalized, where his longtime manager Paul Rosenberg had to step in because he feared he might overdose, which might leave him with permanent brain damage. It took a long time for my brain it to did. start working again. Yeah, I mean, you you literally were coming off of, you know, an, an overdose and, you know, they had to sort of stabilize you with a few medications and some of them took you a minute to adjust to. Let's mm -hmm. just leave it at that. Right. So you're learning how to rap again, almost literally. Right. Because it's the first time probably you were creating without having substances in your body in in however many years. Right. Yeah. Didn't you ask the doctors when I first started rapping again and send it to you? Didn't you say, like, I just want to make sure he doesn't have brain damage? Yeah, I, I, I thought you might. I thought you might have some permanent problems. Yeah. I was concerned. Guys, hop in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications for all daily videos, and make sure to keep it locked at hiphopdx.com.